Morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to Otaku Chris is Talking. This is your weekly Dragon Ball Super anime review. This is for episode 81. Now this is going to be a quick review as I'm, um, I'm on my way to work. So I need to just basically bang out this review. I watched this episode on the way on the train on the way to work. So I thought, you know what, let me just quickly let me let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on what happened in this episode. Now, I personally think this episode is really cool as I feel like as the episodes go by, we've, um, we're getting more and more indication that Goku could actually be um, eventually considered as a god of destruction and this is personally because in the fight between Bergamo Goku literally gave no fucks and he was basically fighting against him um, giving him like the most power that he could on his base form which Bergamo could handle and he was powering up leveling up which we kind of knew was going to happen from if you guys knew about the spoilers which were given a while ago so this was already uh, kind of we already kind of knew this or if you didn't know about the spoilers then uh, in the previews of last week's episode we knew that this was going to happen but what was very interesting about this episode um, was whether Bergamo Bergamo whatever Bergamo I'm going to say um, whether he could actually handle Goku's power or not base form Goku he could Super Saiyan 2 Goku, he could. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we never saw that. But once Goku literally went Super Saiyan God in you know, his Super Saiyan Blue mode, like literally everyone in the arena was like, what the hell is this power? The power that rivals the gods. Now we know this is a power that rivals the gods, but it's interesting that other people also now know that Goku has power that rivals the gods, which doesn't really help Goku, I guess, because just him powering up Super Saiyan Blue was power to rival the gods. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken was a fucking madness. I like that Chumper um, kind of let the other let the other people universes, uh, let the other gods of destruction and the other fucking people know as well that Goku's power is limitless and it is incomprehensible because of obviously between Goku and Hit's fight last time, but. Is Hit going to be in this universe or tournament fight? I want to see him in this fight because literally apart from no one else. <laughs> fucking police. Apart from no one else, like, we haven't seen anybody who can actually handle who can actually handle Goku's power level. Goku even said at the end of this is kind of like, well, you know, I wasn't really that satisfied. And especially when Toppo came down. Um Toppo's God of Destruction as well was was asking him a few questions like, what is your opinion on Goku? How do you feel about him? And Toppo was like, I will decide once I see him go full serious. At the end of the episode, when Toppo decides to interrupt and land and say, I do apologize, I know this is intruding, but I need to um, have a word of Goku, you see as Deno Summon's fucking guards just cover him and the Grand Priest just in the middle, like, like his face got slightly serious. We're seeing more sides to the Grand Priest, which I find really cool. Um, there's quite a few rumors and theories out there that like the Grand Priest could be evil. Um, I don't know why they think that. I don't feel like there's enough evidence, but if you believe that he's uh, evil, let me know your thoughts in the comment box down below. Personally, I think that he's one of those um, beings, one of those entities that isn't good or evil, that they just do their job. So if you're on the side of getting destroyed, you will think that, that the grand piece is, is is evil. If you're on the side of um, like being destroyed because of Goku, if your universe is weak and loses, you're going to think that Goku's evil. Whereas in all the other top universes who are too powerful, they're not they're exempt from this universe, so they really couldn't give two shits. Apart from Toppo, and it seems like he's um one from the Pride Troopers from Universe 11, which is actually pretty fucking cool. So it's kind of like, does this mean that the female Broly, as well as the guy in the opening um of, of the Dragon Ball Super episode who Goku's fighting, he's he's from the same he's from the same universe as that. Does that mean that he's going to be as prideful as Toppo as well? Because Toppo was doing this fucking jojo poses and i was like <laughs> i was laughing my ass off but yeah also another thing that was pretty cool i think some people might neglect is chumper at the beginning of the episode when um when we had a little quiet recap about what was going to happen to the universe so chumper was like can we not just fucking run away from here and then like uh the gun and then his bloody uh sidekicks oh my god what the fuck his angels uh, uh was vados was like i uh, know it's definitely going to be something you shouldn't do against the fucking god of all who can probably find you anywhere and just obliterate you on the spot um the rules for this fight was actually that if goku well bergamo decided to uh, play the crowd against goku and was trying to smooth talk his way out of fucking being destroyed so he ends up actually asking uh zeno Sama, look if if my if I win, can this rule of the universe has been destroyed uh, be removed? Which means that the other universes who are in that tournament as well, they would see that act and be like, oh shit, does this mean that like we do have a chance? And obviously because Goku, he gave no fucks in this tournament at all, not in the slightest. Every time that people were like, yeah, you're the bad guy. Fucking Bergamo was like, you're the evil, you're the scum, you're, you're, the universes will come against you in the tournament. Goku was like, cool, 
bring it. Like, he actually gave no fucks. You see him get slightly serious for a hot second, but then he gave no fucks. Sorry, I need to kind of hurry this up because of the fucking time. But we also get rules to the actual tournament itself and it's going to be an all-out brawl, a battle royale in one arena and rules are it's going to be around 48 minutes in the human times, in, in, on earth times, 48 minutes, which seems kind of crazy but it's because everyone will be fighting at the same time. The rules are basically either A, get knocked out, you're not allowed to kill people and also, so it's like um, at the end of the 48 minutes, whoever's left ending is going to be the winner and or whoever has the most people from their universe is going to be the winner which Beerus was like oh fuck man now we thought we had a hope of Goku but we don't but Goku ends up actually mentioning we're gonna have Gohan Gohan my hopes are in you Gohan's like I'll make you proud forever anyways that was my review for this episode what was your opinions what was your thought did you think Bergamo was actually a good rival are you excited to see Topo versus Goku fight do you think Topo's um fist of justice will actually take out Goku if you enjoyed this review do subscribe hit that notification button so that you know when I'm making the videos every Sunday and I hope you guys have a great day Otaku Chris is talking peace so it's not stopping <laughs>